Hey warriors, I'm here today with Liberty. Liberty was rescued all because of warriors like yourself in July of 2021 from the slaughter pipeline. And today Liberty is still with us. She was super skinny. She was unhandled and we were unsure about her future. But Liberty has been in training for quite some time now. She has been in extensive training since she actually came to stay with us in August of 2021. Liberty is a fantastic trail horse. She knows how to do barrels. She knows how to rope. She knows how to do all kinds of good things, can't you? She also takes really good care of children. But Liberty developed a what we want to call a little prance while she walked. As she would walk prance in place all the time, no matter what we did. It was not dangerous. It was not, um, I would say, being unruly. It's not Liberty's nature to be like that. She was just had this prance. And some people like it and some people don't. Just like his, her mom here, she, it kind of made me nervous. So we decided to go ahead and take Liberty back to the basics. And so please enjoy our videos on Back to the Basics with Liberty. Here you will see that she is learning how to lunge again, how to bend again. And then in the third video, in the third part, um, you'll be able to see Luke teaching her how not to prance while she walks. Now it's up to myself and my husband to keep her up and see how far we can get with her. Thank you for joining us. So I'm, I'm in here closer. But if you had to do two, if you wanted to do two exercises on the, on the ground, I would say leg team. And then a lead to side is a great exercise. It's basically it's basically lunging from a shorter distance. It's really all lead to side is. Lunging from about from a distance of about four feet. So we worked a lot on this where I'll, I'll actually back her up and then ask her to move her front feet over. Back her up. Move the front feet over, back her up. What I'm doing is, you know, I'm putting the weight on her back feet so that her front feet can flow over easier. Just teaching her how to do that. That, that's a big deal for her. That's that's pretty good. Like she's leaving her hind end behind just a little, but I'm not too concerned about that. There she's caught up. That's really for her, like being able to side pass is a big deal. Being able to back up and being able to side pass. And not to feel like she's on that rubber band when I do it. So side passing off of the fence, like if you if you really struggle with it and you need a, something in front of her physically to stop her from moving forward, you could just put her on a fence and do it here because she, she really wants to kind of look towards me and, and drift forward. So I back her up. The more you want to move her front feet over, the more you have to bring your stick towards her head. So I'll bring it up here by her ear to push that front end over. And then go back to the shoulders for her to go lateral.
does, I'll just use this stick. So I'll start to back her up and then I'm just gonna ask her, tap on that shoulder till she moves the shoulders over and then back straight again. If she moves right, move the shoulders over. So I just keep moving those shoulders over to kind of get back under herself and then back up. That's probably a bit better right there. Yeah, that was good. I saw that her Sorry, back release. leg look a lot better. Release when she's going straight with some energy. Do you think she does that because she's weaker on one side, or is it just a habit? I think she's weaker on one side. I think her right hind isn't quite as strong, or she has a tendency. Yeah, I would, I, I would say she's a little bit weaker on her right hind. So should I work her more on her right hind and not so much on her left? Not necessarily. I mean, maybe, maybe to some extent. Um, but but how do you do that? Like, I mean, like if you're having a hard time getting her to go straight, she keeps moving her hips away to your left because you're facing her. She's going to her right, your left. Then just put her on a fence like this and back her that way. Then it's going to force her to use that right hind to drive with. Okay. And then she can't go this way, so she has to drive right, that way. Right. Okay. Way. Something like that would be helpful. Back her up. Every time you change directions, if you'll back her up a little bit, you're gonna add add money into her coordination bank account. Yeah, she'll get stronger in the rear that she'll way, get right? Stronger, much more responsive. Still a little too forward there. Let me switch shoulders over. Kind of, kind of just wait her out and wait for her to figure it out here. That was much better. See how she got back and then over. Back and then over. Better. You know, as far as her ability to like back up and maneuver how I'd like her to, she's like she's like fifty to sixty percent there, but that's a whole lot further than she was when she first started. Right. Yeah, I know she's a lot more limber. She was just hopping before. So you don't have to do this, you know it's it's a high level exercise, but I like for her to be able to walk and drag this and not go into trot is a big deal. Right. Now let's see if we can slow her down. Okay. 
Now, because of the rope, I have to guide her forward here. Ah, still not good. I break my rule about changing directions when I'm dragging this plastic sheet. Yeah. <laughs> they can get caught up in it. You could see, even dragging that plastic sheet, she's starting to get her transitions down. Yeah. Or she'll go up to a lope and then go back down to a walk. Her downward transitions are what I'm more concerned about, you know, trying to get better. And when her upward transitions are more challenging, when I have to ask with a little more pressure to get her to trot or a little more pressure to get her to lope, I like that for her because that's where her, her weakness is slowing down, not speeding up. So right. when speeding up becomes a weakness, you know you're going the right direction. Yeah. When I say weakness, you know, if you at some point you might have to work on pushing her a little bit harder to go faster because she's getting too slow. That's possible. It might be a few years before that happens. <laughs> well, I don't want her like so slow, like. It's annoying, but no, I want her just so she can walk out nice where I'm not. I'd like a walk like this. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. That's all we're asking for. She's so level headed. She'd be good to take up to Bryce. To where? To Bryce Canyon, but, oh, yeah. but it's getting her not to jig to the thing. <laughs> Would be perfect, right? Get going, she's got to win anyway. Just getting past that initial part, you know. If you could, like, if you were just consistent for a few weeks, at uh, just lunging her and maybe doing the lead beside exercise. And getting her to where she would slow down and walk when you asked her to, speed up when you asked her to, and just is good with her transitions. That's probably good enough for her. You know, the more the more groundwork you learn, the better off she'll be. Well, warriors, I hope that you enjoyed the video. First and foremost, our mission is always to save horses from the slaughter pipeline. And we can't do it without your help. Warriors like you make it possible for horses like Liberty to be able to get a second chance in life. Please consider donating so that we can go ahead and save lives from the slaughter pipeline. It all begins with you.